And I love this art because like this card really separates real fans. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and I'm here with a different kind of video today. Um, you know, I'm really into Dragon Ball cards. I'm into Dragon Ball collectibles just in general. So I'm gonna be expanding a little bit outside of the Dragon Ball Super card game. I'm gonna talk today about Dragon Ball Heroes cards. I don't know if you guys know about Dragon Ball Heroes cards, if you're really into them, but I wanna talk about some of my favorite cards. And if this is your guys' first time here, please take the time to hit that subscription button if you like what you see. If you're a returning member of the Joe Crew, Thank you for your continued support. And let's talk about these Dragon Ball Heroes cards. So if you guys are familiar with Dragon Ball Heroes, it's actually an arcade game in Japan. And today I'm gonna to go over my top 10 favorite Dragon Ball Heroes cards. So the, it is an arcade game in Japan. Basically, you get these trading cards and then you put the trading cards on a video game screen and you move the cards around on the arcade machine and they generate uh, characters on the screen. So you essentially do, you know, these, this, is, this is an example of a movement that you do. You can see a hand here moving in a circle and that does this kind of dragon fist move or something. So with that being said, this is number 10 for me. This is my 10th favorite Dragon Ball uh, Heroes card. This is from uh, Universe Mission 5. This is the third secret rare from Universe Mission 5. And you can see the card codes. They're up in the top right corner to see uh, where a card is from or if you want to search for a card, that's the way to do it. Uh, this is Ultra Instinct Goku. I just think he looks so tough just like walking out like nothing's going to stop him. He's got his gi half ripped and he's like got his fist ready to just bop someone. Super cool looking card. Uh, so that's number 10. Of course, it is Shatterfoil, so, you know, that kind of is a bummer. Not my favorite thing, but beautiful art. Number nine, we have this Super Saiyan Blue Evolved Vegeta. I think this card's art is awesome. I've definitely turned this into pants. Uh, the way that the look in his face, like he's just, this. I feel like this is when he just starts like clapping Topo and it's really cool. Like you can see kind of the energy that's coming off of him on his shoulder. I just think the art is really beautiful and these, the gold stamps really cool. Again, shatter foil rip, but really, really cool card. So that's number nine for me. Number eight, we got Vegito Blue, SSB Vegito. I think this card is rad. It just looks so cool. He's kind of like got a Kaioken thing going on. There's a lot of red going on here. And it just looks like his fist is just like cracking the card. I just love what they did with the art. I think it looks so cool. It's so nice looking, just great on the eyes. Number seven, we have Broly. This is a secret rare Broly it's from Universe Mission 6, and he just looks so thick. Look at this man. I, I am a DBS Broly fan, so I know there's a lot of OG Broly fans out there, and I don't mean any disrespect to you, but I think DBS Broly is way cooler. And it probably has to do with the fact that I'm more of a fan of the original Japanese dub, but I just think the character development is so rad. He's such a rad character. He's so beefy, and he just gets smart. He's so cool. So this is number seven for me. This is DBS Broly. And number six... We got this secret rare from Universe Mission 2. This is kind of like the apex of power from uh, uh, Dragon Ball Super or Dragon Ball Heroes. I think this is Dragon Ball Super Heroes actually. Or Dra Super Dragon Ball Heroes is what this one is called, I'm pretty sure. But this is a secret rare from Universe Mission 2 and it's definitely got that like apex vibe, but it looks really good. Like if this wasn't Shatterfoil, I would be the look in their eyes. All right, number five, we got this Broly raging broly rushing in this is a secret rare from universe mission five um it's just a rad art i really like in the background how you can kind of see like broly's eyes up on the top and he just got that look in his face that like he's not gonna let anybody stop him right now he is not happy peepaw just got shot who knows who he thinks goku and vegeta kill him it really was frieza spoiler alert sorry uh, but yeah, this is a rad, rad car. Use it like he's got his bot ear just like flapping up in the with the air and he's just rushing in. Really, really cool card. Um, and the silver foil just looks like rad on it. All right, number four, we got this Broly card. I think this Broly card is awesome. I just, I like how it has like all the different Broly's in it. And it's like, it's this, to me, this card just feels like this is the beginning of when it goes off. This is a secret rare from Universe Mission 10, actually. It's well, well, relatively recent, not super recent, but he's got that kneeling position. He feel like he's just about to like blast off. And like, it's got every different like face of Broly. You know, he's got like his uh, normal form, his Akari form, the Super Saiyan 1 form, and then his like Berserker form. They're all in it. So I just love this card. This card I think is so cool. Uh, number three for me is this Bardock card. I love this art. And I love this art because like this card really separates 
real fans. I have this printed on the back of a denim jacket that I wear all the time. I, I took a picture of this and I printed it really big on my jacket. And it's SS4 Bardock. And when people are like, oh, that's Goku, you're like, is it? So you can kind of tell, like every once in a while, somebody would be like, yo, that's the, that Bardock on your jacket is sick. And they know because he's got the headband. That's like the little giveaway. So I really like this card because one, the art is awesome. Like the foiling just looks so cool. The way they did every, like, this card is just so beautiful. And then I really like it like as a thing to like recognize like who knows what's up and who like kind of knows what's up. You know, anybody that recognizes, I'm gonna appreciate the compliment and like connect with them over Dragon Ball and definitely educate them a little bit. But the people that know that it's Bardock, it's like when you know, you know. All right, number two, we got this. I just love this card. The first time I saw this card, I was in Japan. I was looking at card stores and I just saw this card and I was like, oh my God, I got it, I got it. I mean, this card, this looks so cool. It's like the look in Goku's eyes. He's just got this look of like, I got this. And like that kind of is what Ultra Instinct Omen was to me, was like he cracked into this feeling of like, I got it. And it was really cool to like see this on a card where he just like such a cool form, such a cool style. Like the card just looks gorgeous. So this is number two for me. And number one, my number one favorite Dragon Ball Heroes cards. This is the card that got me into like collecting Dragon Ball cards again. I was in Japan. This was like six years ago. I was in a card shop and I was like, what is going on with this card? This is so cool. So here it is. This is number one. This is my favorite Dragon Ball Heroes card, arguably my favorite Dragon Ball card in general. I just, I don't know what it is with this foiling, but it is insane. And like, this is definitely not shatter foil. It's some kind of wave foil. And it just, there's so many ways to make this card look awesome. This is a CP, which is like a promo card. So like every set of Dragon Ball Heroes, they have like promo cards, which they'll display on the top of the arcade machine. So you know, like, okay, this is the CP set. And they're not as rare as the secret rares, but like, I think the art on them, and some of them is really, really cool. I collected all the CPs for a really long time. I, I haven't liked some of them more recently, probably because I can't see them in person. I haven't been able to go to Japan in a while, but just like, I think that this card is so, so gorgeous. I make it for myself. Um, so yeah, this was Joku's top 10 Dragon Ball Heroes cards. If you guys enjoyed this and you want to see more of this, you know, drop me some comments in the uh, comment section. Let me know what you're interested in. If you want to see some figures, I have so many Dragon Ball figures. I have all sorts of different cards. I might just do one on my favorite uh, DBS cards also. You know, I do have Joku's top nine DBS as well. Top nine leaders, top nine this, top nine that. So I really appreciate art. You know, I do have a bachelor's degree in art. So I very, very much appreciate uh, the way things look and having appreciation for the way things look. I hope I can share that appreciation with you guys and you guys appreciate them as well. If this is your first time here and you enjoyed this show, please take time to hit that subscription button. It really helps me out. And if you're a returning member of the Joe Crew, Thanks for your continued support. Uh, I am a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. Don't go like this. Don't like slam your teeth together and, and test your bite like really hard. It's bad for your teeth. It can damage your roots. It can fracture your teeth. So when you're biting, like, you know, kind of try and bite a little lighter. Don't like slam your teeth together. It's not good for them. I, I would advise against doing that. Um, thanks again for your time, guys, and I will see you next time.